we're going to walk through using design settings. So to access our design settings, we can actually get there two ways. We can click on settings and choose design settings, or we can just right click off in our, here on our grid and choose design settings. And when we open this up, this looks awful familiar. I know it does. This is the, the page that we use to create the customer. Here's our customer information. If we did not fill this in when we created the customer, we can always come back and fill this in. We can either browse and fill in a customer we already have, or we can hit clear, and we can do browse and new, and build a new customer in here. We've got the filing address. That opens the same way. You click on the button, fill in the filing address. When you're all done, you hit close dialog. It fills it in here. You can do same as mailing or same as shipment or mailing for invoices. Makes it quick and easy. We'll go ahead and set me up as it. Select dealer. I've already set myself as a dealer, but you could clear this. Set in your own dealer information. Um, yours should actually be clear if you have not filled it in. Again, click on the address button to fill in your address. Designer. Here we can browse for designers. I don't have any set up. I could set one up by clicking on the new button. We can put the designer same as dealer. In this case, that would be me. Supervisor. We've got supervisor information. We can do the supervisor same as dealer, or supervisor can be same as designer. <laughs> Either case it comes up as me. Uh, yours would be a little different though. Um, construction tab. Here is where all the defaults for the walls come in. Four inch wall thickness. You may want to change that to four and a half. Um, zone width. I would leave this at 30 inches. That's the zone is our placement zone. That's where our cabinets pop in. Um, 30 inches seems to be a great measurement for that. Uh, if you turn it down, you can run into issues placing some items. So I, I recommend leaving it 30 inches. Wall height, 96. Of course, you'll change that to match your wall height. Wall items alignment. Here we can do either top alignment or bottom alignment. What this does is when we place a wall cabinet or a wall item, it will either align the top of it with our predetermined measurement or the bottom of it with our predetermined measurement. So if we're setting cabinets at 84 inches off the floor, we can simply set 84 inches in here, take a 30 inch wall cabinet, drop it in there, it'll set the top of that 30 inch wall cabinet at 84 inches. On the other hand, if we did a bottom alignment, which for some reason comes up as hmm, 48 and not 54, if we did the bottom alignment on that, then if we took that same 30 inch cabinet and dropped it on the wall it would place the bottom of that 30 inch cabinet at 54 inches now the one drawback to this is when you come to your refrigerator over the refrigerator or over the stove cabinet when you drop them onto the plan the bottom of those is going to sit at 54 inches so you'll have to do a little up down to get those to work I'm going to leave mine at top alignment because that's the way I like to work with it Additional weight of your pallet. Um, if, you, if you're if you being shipped these cabinets on a pallet and you need to figure that additional weight for your shipping, you can enter that in there. This, uh, dimension, nomenclature, orientation. We've got some options here. We've got clockwise, counterclockwise, 90 degree clockwise, and 90 degree counterclockwise. And what that will do is, I'm just going to slide this over the side a little bit. What that will do is it will change our nomenclature on our cabinets right here to be in one of the clockwise variations, either 90 degrees or counterclockwise. So that'll rotate those for you there. Um, just in case you don't, you know, if you don't like them this way, you can have them at an angle. Got to have options. Moldings tab. This tab sets up our molding button, which is this little guy over here. What we set in our moldings tab will place automatically when we click our molding button. So I've got a couple of them set in here. I've got some crown molding and some toe kick. Um, if your design uses light rail molding, feel free to set that in there as well. Countertop. This sets our countertop defaults. You can see we have an inch and a half thickness and one inch overhangs on everything. Now these side overhangs and back overhangs, they only apply if there's no wall or cabinet next to it. If you've got a tall cabinet next to it, 
right next to a base cabinet the side overhang won't be one inch it'll it'll match the, the cabinet next to it um, and then of course back overhang that doesn't affect you if you're going against the wall backsplash height and backsplash depth you can set those as necessary 3d this is going to set the default 3d's for everything so um, it's going to give you your basic black granite here if you don't change it your wall covering will be the same your flooring will all be the same and if you want to change them you just simply hit select pick your poison okay maybe diamond tread on your countertop sweet alright there we go units this is the units on the plan our measurement units um, imperial inches is default you can go ahead and set that to your preferences though. And this in a nutshell, we've gone through all of our tabs, has been design settings.